Our next steps, we're going to start the overlay from sky images, and we're going to be working with our layer mode. I want to point out where you're going to be working with your layer mode, and right here is your layer mode, the second box. And this is going to be really important as we continue with our instruction. For our next step, we are ready to bring in Sky 2. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to navigate to my downloads, and I'm just in my file explorer because I'm just going to open the document and I'm going to copy it. So this is Sky 2. I'm going to copy this document, back to Photoshop, edit, paste. And I can go ahead and size that up. And I am going to set the mode to hard light hard light. So you can see, you can still see some of that sky. Now you see this funny line? The reason why is because I have that above my background. So I want to drag that underneath. And that was hard light. And that was for my sky. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place the moon. I need to open that as well. Again, I'm going to, I did say I was going to place it, but I'm doing a copy. And I'm not sure what just happened to the order of my documents. I feel like they are sorted by date instead of by name. I like to sort by name because I've got way too much going on in here. So I can remember that this is the railway assignment. And I can come down to my R's. So here's my moon that we need. We are going to copy the moon. Maybe. There we go. We're going to copy the moon. We're going to edit paste. And the guidelines specifically say to place the moon above sky 2. So I do have it above sky 2. Um, somewhere right in here would be great. And then I am ready to change the layer mode again. I said that was going to be really important. And I'm going to change that to screen. And I just think that's pretty uh, amazing how it just takes the black and it screens the black out so you can see what else you have going on. Um, on the next step, we are going to start changing our adjustment layers. Photoshop has some amazing adjustment layers. Um, we do want to come up to our background, or which is crazy to think of it as our background, but or as our base document, which is our railway, before we do this step. Um, we're going to come down. It's a ha like a half circle or a circle that's half colored in. These are our adjustment layers, and this time around, we are going to apply uh, hue and saturation. And when we apply hue and saturation, we get a menu of where we can change options. Um, and yours will probably pop up over in here. Um, and we want to closely follow the directions that the settings that the computer is telling us. So for the master, it is saying the hue should be zero, the saturation should be a negative 40, and the lightness should be a negative 19. Now, as a designer, when you're doing projects on your own, you would be dragging these bars and experimenting with the colors. But because we're following a tutorial, these are our yellows, because we are following a tutorial, we do want to type the values in appropriately as they have them on here. And then I can come back to my layers. So that was, again, that was your first adjustment layer. Um, and we want to clip this because we don't want it to apply to our layers underneath. You can see how it kind of created a dullness. We only want that to be applied to the railroad. So we're going to clip the layer by right-clicking. We're going to do a right click create clipping mask. So it's applying that setting to only what is directly below. It's not applying so that. That setting, you can see as I turn it on and off, that setting was only applied to the railroad bed, only to what was directly, directly below it, not continuing below it even more. And that's what that little arrow signifies. Um, as we go down and we're going to start to 
kind of change the overall color of the whole project, we're going to be doing a gradient map. And again, we're going to be doing that with your adjustment layers. And we're going to be applying that above. I'm not sure why I cannot. There we go. Adjustment layers, and we're going to be doing a gradient map. And this can be a little confusing because we need to change the colors, and we're going to change the colors to the hex value that the computer is specifying. So I'm going to do that by double-clicking right here. It says click to edit the gradient. And then these are called stops. And you're going to double-click in that stop, and you are going to key in the hex value that is stated in your directions. So we have a gradient spectrum of two different blues, and you can see that that gradient was applied over the whole project. Um, however, and this should be above all your layers. There we go. Um, and we want our fill and our opacity to only be set at 80%. So we don't want, you can either keyboard that in or drag it. It's probably quicker just to keyboard it in. And we want to change our mode to soft light. So you can see when you turn that on and off, the little bit of difference. Subtle differences are so important when you're working on image editing. Um, and then your next step does have you create a, another gradient map, but that's where I'm going to stop the video for today. I think this is a great part, a great uh, spot to kind of just take a break and see how you're doing. Um, if you're ready to go on to the next gradient map, that's fine. You should now have a little bit of knowledge of how to do that. And I hope you have a great day and always remember to save your projects.